-hmm. It's very, very hard. Mm -hmm. And so I constantly have to have to fight against that now. And I, I and I heard you say that the therapy is in writing in your yes. book and writing about these relationships. Yes. Yes. In in the books you've named, mm -hmm. do you have a lot of dysfunctional relationships? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. And it's so funny because when I get emails from young girls and, and you know, and they tell me that they can relate to a lot of things that I talk about and and um and that some of the stuff that I talk about, it said like some of them say, you know, after I read your book, it makes me really want to go out there and find a good guy and, and you know, and I love men. I think there are mm -hmm. a lot of great men out there. It's just that it's so hard, like, um, when you see things and you experience things, you really gravitate towards those type of things. You know how they say it's so easy to do the bad things mm -hmm. instead of, and it's more difficult, it's easier to do bad things than to, to do good things, and it's very, very difficult. Um, and, those, and I, talk, I try to talk that because in my books, even though I try to entertain people, I try to always put some sort of underlining message. Is because I've been through so much and I've experienced so much. And you know, you can't save everybody. Right. And a lot of times, people have to go through it in order to to get past it. But um, I like I constantly make an effort every single day to. Um, to, to try to do things the right way. And it's, it's very lonely, you know, because I, I haven't had a relationship since my son's father because I, I really want to, to have a positive relationship when I do, you know, something mm -hmm. positive, and it's, it's hard. So are you, you now that if, if, if because you're, you're very attractive, and mm -hmm. I'm sure men just come on to you, so are you kind of very, very cautious uh, do you do you listen to what they have to say? Do you pick up vibes from them in any kind of way? Yes, and you know what? Mm -hmm. It's so hard because it's like the same type of men are always drawn to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. yeah, I know. It is, and it's like I'm. It's like I always think like, do crazy people attract crazy people? Right. You know, my girlfriends and I, we talk about, says, you know, it's like, you have this tree on your back. Right. Seriously, because right. I always attract the same type of mm -hmm. men, and I'm always drawn to them, too, but I always have to pull back, because I know there's not, they're really not right for me, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's like, you know how you, you feel like you, you deserve a good person, mm -hmm. but then that's that part of you that somewhat feels that you don't, mm -hmm. or you're, you're kind of afraid that to have something real in the right way, like you're kind of afraid to have that because you don't know if you're really ready for it or you could, you, or you're gonna mess it up. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I'm trying to get to that place because I really do eventually one day want to have like a family and get married and you know all that stuff. But it's just it's it's like I don't know. I I, I have I pray about it because it's just like I don't know if I'm you know if I'm mentally ready if I'm there or if I'm gonna mm -hmm. ever be there. It's, it's a little scary. You know, I'm, and I'm sure that some of our, our viewers are kind of relating, saying, oh, I relate to what Joy is saying, mm -hmm. because, and I'm glad to hear you say that you are really not ready for a relationship because mm -hmm. you're working on Joy. Yes. You're working on Joy to it's get it together. It's such a long process. Oh, it is. A, it's, <laughs> it's and I'm glad you said that. It is. is a long, it's not like overnight. No. And you have to work on yourself first and starting with loving yourself yes and that is so hard for not only a lot of women but yes. for some men as well yes yes and and with the books mm -hmm. that you 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 try to bring some of those things out yes I do I I, I try to because I try to bring up, I try to make characters mm -hmm. that people can see something inside of them or they know somebody that they can see something inside of them and a lot of my characters they're battling inner demons, the men and the women. And I try to get people to, like with my characters, even if they're really flawed, I try to get people to see, okay, this person is really flawed, but you still see something in them that's redeeming, and you want them to win. You want them to get through it, and you want them to make it. Mm. And so it's very difficult. And the reason why I write characters like that because I, I feel like that's me, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm very flawed, but I feel like I want people to, to cheer for me and say that she can get through this. And so I want people to cheer for my characters and say, even though this person is flawed, that we can cheer for them mm -hmm. and we want them to make it and get better. Are any of your characters mm -hmm. based on real people? 
Yes, like I have some characters that I definitely got from real people, a hundred percent. Because I'm still thinking about. I'm going back to uh, Hook of the Housewife. Oh and I'm my thinking god, I'm with that is full of that book is uh -huh. full of, of of real people. Okay. I mean, and it's 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 not a pretty thing because I'm telling you, like especially that type of lifestyle is so dominated by men, and. Women have it so hard. I mean, they really do. I love women and mm -hmm. I advocate for them because it's just like, I was thinking one time when I, I was driving the other day, it's like mothers in a way somewhat destroy their sons and their sons grow up and destroy women. Mm -hmm. do, do you you're know? absolutely correct. You know what I mean? Yes, and it's just, I know exactly what you're yes, saying. Yes, and, and, and it's like dawned on me when I was driving the other day and I was just thinking about that cycle. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how do you do that? Because it's just like, our women are so out of control, but a lot of them are out of control because of what men are doing to them. But those men are doing those things based upon, based on things that happened to them when they were growing up. Mm -hmm. So it's like they hate women and they grow up and yes. they mistreat women because they hate them. Do you know what I mean? And so I understand that. It's just like, you see that and so, I have these characters that I, that I write. And sometimes you look at them and you're like, how can he be that way? Or like, how mm -hmm. can he treat mm -hmm. a woman like that? But it's just like, it's hard because you, you do unto others the way it's mm -hmm. been done to you. Mm -hmm. And the only way that you can try to change that is if you recognize it, acknowledge it, and, and you make an effort to say, I'm not going to be that person. But most people never want to acknowledge the truth about themselves and until you unless you acknowledge the truth you can never move forward mm -hmm. and so I, th I think that's the big and I, and I definitely in my books you know like you said with these characters and like in Hooker the Housewife and, and all my books I, I show you what happens and if that truth is never acknowledged mm -hmm. and if that person doesn't acknowledge what that truth is they can never make things better also some of the characters mm -hmm. do they and I love what you said earlier. Do they ever win? Do yeah. they ever win? <laughs> Do they ever win? You know what? It really depends upon what winning means to whoever's reading the book. Mm -hmm. I try to because honestly, when I write certain characters, mm -hmm. that's why usually I write sequels because I get so attached to my characters and I really love them, mm -hmm. especially the ones that last. Uh -huh. The ones that don't last, I get, ri I get rid of them, I erase them, but the ones that I really love, I, I see them going, but it's just like, they're so torn. They go through so much pain and tragedy. By the time you get to the end, you want them to win. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, I do let them win. But sometimes, you know, they don't because that's life. In life, it's like all dreams aren't meant to become reality. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, that's true. Mm -hmm. But in their loss, you hope they've gained something, which is an actuality, and is they a should. win. Yes. yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. Now, also in those books, what about the sizzling part of relationship? Is <laughs> the there some sizzle the stuff? Is and there some, yeah, is there some <laughs> sizzle stuff in here? Yes, because that's the that's the that's the that's the intense part of relationships. All the drama and then getting back together and falling in love. I love romance. Mm. I'm like um I'm such a romantic at heart. I love to see men romance women. I love for women to be women and you know because it's a lot of times because things are so hard like women never have the opportunity to let a man be the man mm -hmm. and to fall back and I like to have characters do that because I want women to also know that there are good men out there that treat you, wine you, dine you and and treat you like a princess, which they should, because that helps you to be a woman. You know the men who are, who are watching this, they're loving you now, saying that, I told you there are men <laughs> out there who know how to romance Beth Johnson. Of you know, course. Yeah. No, I really do believe that. <laughs> I do. I mean, and a lot of times, you have to teach them. Mm -hmm. I mean. They don't know. Yes, they really don't know, because a man is really only as good as his last relationship. So if the relationship that he was in before, if no woman took the time to show him, this is what women like. This is what I want you to do for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, how is he really going to know, especially if he didn't grow up and see his own father do that with his mother? Mm -hmm. And so you have to, sometimes you do have to take the time and teach mm -hmm. 